earliest we've actually been up for this trip. We've got you for walking in. Yeah. Just gone nine o'clock. It's too big, isn't it? Well, yeah. I mean, the plan for today is to actually do Sea World on the morning yeah. uh, before it gets too busy because it is a Sunday today. And we're doing Fun Spot Orlando on the night. We've got jackets uh, for later because it will yeah. be cold. Yeah. So a lot to pack in. Yeah, there's actually two new rides for us to get on here. So we were last here in 2017, the year before Infinity Falls opened to the Interman uh, Rapids. Did a similar one at Silver Dollar City. We did. A yeah, huge we didn't really drop. Get that wet on that one, though, didn't, didn't get soaked, yeah. so I'm interested to see how wet you I think get. This one is meant to be a soaker. Surely, oh, it can't be any worse than Popeye. Surely. <laughs> but yeah, we've got that. We've also got Icebreaker, which has just opened in February. So it's not been it was open long at all. To, like, obviously COVID, I think. Yeah, and that's uh, Premier Rides, isn't it? So I'm uh, gonna do that. I do like. Premier Rides posters, uh, and then yeah. Also, we've as we walked through the entrance, the brand new coaster yeah. opening next year. Pipeline. So we are coming, as I said before, we are coming back next September. So yeah. we should hopefully get that. Well, if it's open, we will do. Yeah, yeah. Pipeline, the surf coaster uh, by B and M. So it's good to see the park investing in new rides because. Looking at the ride lineup, there's actually only six major rides yeah. that we can get on. On a quiet day, you can do this park in like half a day if you don't yeah. do any of the shows and things. Yeah, well, I, that's what we're hoping to do now, which is why we got here for opening. I can't see us being here longer than four to five hours. Now we're going to do this, try and go for a, some lunch, a bit of shopping. Yeah. Um, and then, as we said, fun spot. So I really am excited to get back on. Mako, oh, we love it. We yeah, love one of the best roller coasters in Orlando, if not the best. So we Better will... than Velocicoaster? Oh! <laughs> no, Tom. Yeah, it no. used to be, it used no. to be. <laughs> yeah, Velocicoaster beats it, but it's good. And I, I do Wazzy. like it. Well, that's in Tampa. Yeah. Well, I'm yeah. just saying, like in, the, in Florida, right? Yeah, it's up there with them, but yeah, I think Velocicoaster is yeah. our new number one. So, spin you around. Because it's from like obviously the, the same as Bush Gardens, the whole park again is done up for Yeah, Christmas. got all the Christmas trees, looking lovely, very festive. One thing I'd say, like over here, they go all like overboard, don't they? With yeah, Christmas. well, you can see all the, the purple lights on that tree in the night time, it'll look stunning. Like the theme it towards like the area. Sadly, we won't be here on the night this no, trip. No. Yeah, we'll uh, get around to Infinity Falls and once we find it. And yeah, the good thing about this park and Bush Gardens, you go, you're allowed on ride filming. So I'll take you on all of the rides this morning. So as we suspected, Infinity Falls actually isn't even open yet. The, the, the rope said. drops there, it opens at 10 o'clock. So yeah. while we're here then, Mako. it would be rude not to do Mako with a five minute wait. Get a locker. Yeah, we'll get a locker. I think it's $2 for uh, two hours if it's the same well, the as. The thing is, it's like I can go on, then you can go on with this, and then yeah. once it starts to get a bit busier, um, we can get the lockers. Yeah, we'll work it out. Okay, straight back on Mako. Really excited to get back on Hypercoaster. Just testing now. Let's get on. Front row on Mako. What a way to wake up. Oh! Whoa! Woo! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, time. Lion.
It Just certainly was. Right. So good to get back on the Mako. I was back for, then you went on front row. Yeah, because yeah. obviously we could have got a locker, but it, it's a walk on. They were, yeah, they were sending well half trains around. So good. Love B&M hyper coasters. Little fun fact, one of my uh, first big coasters that I did to basically overcome my fear oh, of coasters yeah, yeah. is Shambhala at Port of Ventura. <laughs> I always remember that because yeah. you were sat off for like I was ages, I was contemplating it? it back in... What, how many years ago? 2016. Yeah, we, literally when we first got together. Yeah. I, was well, I actually did, and... did coasters out in California in the summer. Yeah, but, but we back went, then you were a bit like... I was doing like half, half wasn't I? <laughs> Like I'd, I'd never done anything as tall as uh, Shambhala, so yeah, in the September we went and I, would, I did it, we loved it. I think we did it about 60 times on that we trip. Did loads, yeah. yeah, and Mako. And now you'll go on so good. more things. Yeah. Well, I'll, I'll go on any roller coaster. But uh, yeah, I absolutely love Mako. So glad it's in this park. Uh, if you took Mako out of here, then there's not a standout attraction, is there? Uh, we haven't done Icebreaker yet, but. From the reviews we've seen, I don't think it's meant to be amazing. We've mentioned this before as well, like currently up to now we've done all of the SeaWorld parks until the yeah, new one have, opens we? over um, in Abu Dhabi. It's mad isn't it, only five <laughs> months ago we were at SeaWorld San Antonio. <laughs> so there's Icebreaker just across the river. We'll see, we're just walking around to see What's up? if we can get another ride in. It's only half nine. Kraken? Yeah, we'll do Kraken. Obviously, they've got the observation tower as well, which we may go up go before we leave. Once it hits 10 o'clock. A lot of it's shut off. Well, I did see Kraken going round. And maybe we just can't get that way. Maybe we yeah. left. We'll find it. We'll walk round to something. Yeah, left. Yeah, we'll head left. Just heading through Antarctica now. I don't think the penguin, um, what's it called, Empire of the Penguin, it's not a ride anymore, is it? So. You just see the penguins. Yeah. Used to be like a, a dark I ride. I quite enjoyed it. Yeah, it was alright. Yeah, I'm sure it's no longer a ride. You can also see Journey to Atlantis just in the back. Probably the best journey to Atlantis we've done. Yes. The one at uh, San Antonio wasn't, no, it wasn't that, that good. good. No, because there wasn't I like really much to it. Section, yeah, the one in San Antonio doesn't, it's and just I like up, up and round and down, and that's it. Yeah, I like the San Diego one because you've got that uh, lift hill at the start, yeah, which is good. We were actually looking to get like the food pass for here, yeah. I'm so glad we did it because I seen a review yesterday, and someone was just basically saying it was just crap like there's nothing open, nowhere to eat, and plus, I feel I, like, I'm not even hungry. No, the other night we felt that ill. We, we had an Olive Garden. Yeah, oh my god. Oh, we we, no, we had it the next morning. I'm so bloated right now. It's unbelievable. Well, journey to Atlantis is here. So it's up to you. Do you want to do this now? Before cracking? Because we're getting wet anyways. Yeah. May as well do this before yeah. Infinity Falls. Okay. Yeah. That's why I put my hair in a plait. <laughs> I'm hmm. all ready to go. There we go then. We'll yeah, it's good uh, opening hours today, 9 till 9. There's a locker around here. Yeah. Get a locker. Uh, take you on with the GoPro chest harness. to Atlantis, Stacey's too scared for the front row. I just don't want to get, I like, it's not quite enough to get into the back row. Yeah, it's not. Excited to get back on this one. This is my favourite one. Yeah. Out of the Little drop to start. Whee! <laughs> this is definitely the best one. It is, yeah. Walk on, only us in this boat. It's already with two rides in. Yeah. We 
number six. This smell nice. Turn as well about car parking here. Thirty dollars. Now that is ridiculous. Luckily, the pass we've got parking's free. Oh, I wasn't paying thirty dollars. <laughs> I know. Well, unless you're coming here with a 14-day unlimited ticket, like from abroad, I'd recommend getting the uh, Discovery Cove ticket in a Black Friday sale because we got such a good deal on that. And you get free admission to here and Bush Gardens for 14 consecutive days. It's actually worked out cheaper going to Discovery Cove. There he is. We're all right so far. A little. See the water park. Some of that. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna lift my bag off the floor. It's open, yeah. I don't know. You got no choice. Uh oh. Oh no. Ah! Oh. Oh, not too bad. Not too bad. Only a little sprinkle. Yay. I was expecting a yeah. soaking. Oh, not bad. I think as well it depends on how many it's on Yeah. How many is in the board. Like it's just me and you. That was nice. Like way, yeah. See, it is looking a little old now though. No, I think maybe San Diego's. I, I like it. I do like San Diego, yeah. I, I say it's not over yet. Got, like got another this. drop here. Yeah, we spoke too soon. Just done a, a little drop and I got soaked, my bag's soaking. I forgot we go back on another lift hill. There's no one even in the floor behind us, you know. No one at all. Oh yeah. See, I think we've got one more drop. This might be soaking. I know. Sometimes the smaller drops get more wet. Because we haven't done it in so long. Honestly, the wettest we got on that was a tiny drop before the second lift hill. Yeah, oh, that was fun. Yeah, this is definitely the best journey to Atlantis. the new green colour scheme which has changed since we were last here it also used to be Kraken Unleashed if you can remember with the VR and to be honest we weren't a fan of that at all um, well I'm not a fan of VR on roller coasters in general uh, it just makes me feel sick and also the fruit buds aren't great but yeah it's only on a five minute queue so walk on I'll get on first and then Stacey Pointless getting a locker when it's this quiet. Going 
down now. Yeah, B and M sit down coaster. I'm not a massive fan of it, but see if my opinions changed. Stacey's just sat down. Enjoy your journey to Atlantis. I did, yeah. yeah, it's good. I didn't get that wet, unlike you. Yeah, oh, I know. Look at my shorts. <laughs> Yeah, I'll head in now then. Right, time for a front row ride on Kraken then. Sun's coming out now. Yeah, one of the oldest posters in the park, this one. Lovely view of Mako going round. Right, here we go. See if it's better than what I remember. Without the VR. No, spited. Infinity Falls closed for annual maintenance. Oh, well. We didn't see on the website. Oh, we, we, yeah. we always check to make sure to see what's going to be open. Yeah, I was just speaking to that lady there and she said it actually closed on Monday. Obviously, we came out on Tuesday, so we're missing it. It could be down for a few weeks while they Check inspect it. it for maintenance. We're coming back September and it'll be good to like, yeah. have, have something, we'll have fish and we'll have the, the other course to come back for. Yeah, exactly, so, two things to return it's for. Not, it's only a rapid, <laughs> it's not a rapid. Well, massive. it's meant to be a good I rapid, know, oh, I wanted I to do know, it. But, but well, we're so still done. Try, try and see the positive part. I know. The positive is we've done the best yeah. rapids in Orlando, which is Popeye. Yeah, if you haven't seen our uh, vlogs, uh, so far on this trip, check out the Islands of Adventure one where we got a soaking on yeah, Popeye. Really, really yeah. like we also have done a Travel Day, Universal Studios and Bush Gardens. They're all in the playlist. Yes, never mind, we've still got Icebreaker and to be honest I'd rather get the Coaster Cred than the Rapids. The rapid. yeah. So it's something to come back for. Right, we'll head round to Icebreaker then. One thing we love about coming at Christmas time all of, the all of the lights and decorations. It's such a special time to, talk, to come. Yeah. And so you have to just take into consideration coming in December. Well, stuff you will be closed. I've just looked, to be honest, there, and even like um, in January, I think it's um, the Hogwarts Express. That's shut for like a month. There's yeah. A of I think there's a couple of things in January. January to like it can April. happen at any time of year. Yeah. But yeah, you can see the blue lights on that tree and the, and the yellow lights. That looks stunning in the night time. Can't wait to get back to Bush Gardens and do Ayanguazi in the dark. We also need to do Cumba as well, we missed that. It was down. To be honest, it's probably finishes half in a couple of hours. Yeah. Because it's so quiet. Yeah. yeah. We've got Icebreaker. Uh, we'll go on the observation tower and that's pretty much it. We need that's to go and finish off some shopping. Yeah, Even we yesterday, do. Because 
as you know, if you've watched our vlog from far, we love hiking and we really want to get like some big backpacks. Yeah. Like, especially we've got Cali now to put all of the stuff in. And honestly, it was just tat, wasn't it? It was just it was. like, it was an outlet. It was just not just very the, good. the outlet selling all the stuff that nobody no wanted. One wants. But we're going to keep it. looking. We're going to keep looking today. Yeah, obviously, Sea World to us is a half a day park on a quiet day. On a quiet day. It can be a full day park if you stay and do all of the shows. They do oh. the dolphin show, sea lions, and just there, the orca encounter show. I know that is a controversial subject, whether Sea World should hold them in captivity. Obviously, the trouble is, if they're born here and they're let out into the wild, they wouldn't survive. They wouldn't survive. But then on the flip side, they shouldn't be held here in the first place. Uh, we, we don't agree with it, so that's why we don't see the shows, but we're here to do the coasters. We're actually entered Sesame Street now. <laughs> well, we've already got the cred, but yeah. Just having a walk around we maybe back to the Yeah, we'll do icebreaker next. Go on an icebreaker now then and we just saw a train going around that was pretty much empty i'm not, I'm not really looking forward to this yeah. yeah honestly i was expecting it to be a little busier than this i know it's december but it's a sunday yeah it's going over now oh you're not looking forward to getting a new cred well, yeah, but I just think there's the um entrance zero minute way zero minutes god and the Christmas tree. Let's take you on. I wasn't a huge fan of that. Sure, it's not. I, like, I do like the start when you're going back and going yeah. on the little bunny hill, but the rest of it, it's, it's just it's a, like a fan. Sure. Yeah, it did it hurt my legs? Yeah, going forward. I don't know if you can tell, I've actually had to switch to my phone to finish this vlog because. What mistake? Yeah, I left it? the batteries. I left the batteries back in the room. Never mind. Well, we're gonna go and get them anyways because it's only ten minutes away and. Uh, I need them for fun spot. I just want to show you all these Christmas trees here. See, there's a stadium. I think that's for, must be on the show on the night. But yeah, look at all these. All these in the water. And there's a good view of pipeline. We're going to do the observation tower now for re-rides on Mako and maybe see some animals like the penguins before we head out. So we've just popped into the wild arctic as we were walking around. Look at the size of this walrus. He's huge. He's massive. Oh, they are cute. Beautiful. There's another one there. And 
There's actually seals as well. Oh, look at him. Oh, look at his tusks. Huge. Right, time for a re-ride marathon. On the best coaster in the park, it is Mako B&M Hyper. And just look how empty the train is. There's no one here. Yeah, I will say about SeaWorld, the operations have been great. It's on two trains, completely walk on. Yeah, and I'm back row. And I've got the restraint quite loose. Arms up all the way. Oh my God! I love Mako. So good, we're gonna do it a few more times. Right, so we were going to do the Sky Tower, but yeah, I didn't realize, you can see the admission board there, it's actually $5 per guest to go up here. So we're not doing it. Yeah, I think that's a bit, bit silly it should be included in the price of admission what do you think um well yeah i agree with you yeah like most of the things most places it'd to, be free wouldn't it, it? it's included yeah, yeah. So i'm just shading myself from the sun a lovely spot here the lake with a uh, icebreaker going round yeah considering the amount of rides that are here it should definitely be free in the admission price never mind not, pay, depend, not paying ten dollars. Like yeah. We're actually going to uh, head round to do Manta just yes, now. Then are. flying coaster. I've just been looking at the menu for Perkins. So Is that I'm, where you fancy going, I think Perkins? It nice. You can get like two chocolate chip pancakes, yeah. eggs, bacon, um, sausage links. We'll go there. We've never dollars. been. We'll, we, we, need, we wanted to try new things. Yeah. This trip. We'll, we'll, go, we'll go there when the vlog and show you what food we get from Perkins. And yeah, here's a nice view of Pipeline Surf Coaster. As we came into the park, you could actually see the see trains the train, and the yeah. seats. So yeah. we'll, I'll show you that as we leave. Like the move when the coaster yeah. goes round. And it's, it's like, like a bobbing sensation. It yeah, well. it's, it's a stand-up one. So yeah. as if you're surfing. So to come back for that and uh, Infinity Falls next Thanks. year will be brilliant. Right, we'll head round, get one last ride in on Manta. small it actually is so yeah there's the tower you've got Mako at the back the hyper coaster uh, that's Kraken journey to Atlanta so we banged all them out in the first hour then you've got some theatres down here Manta where we're heading to now on the other side Icebreaker the Orca Shore and sadly Infinity 
Yeah. Yeah. Next year, fingers crossed. Yeah, the little children's area, Sesame Street land. It's not massive at no. all. Like, we were just saying between ourselves, I think this is probably our least favourite park in Orlando. Yeah, I think so. Uh, and when you compare it to like all your Disney parks, you It's just no park. comparison, is, not, it? is it? Even Bush Gardens. You've still got to come and do it. If yeah, you obviously, it come and do it, Just even if it's just for Mako. Mm -hmm. Because that is, it's one of the best coasters in Orlando. But as an overall park, for us, as we don't do the shows, yeah, it's half a day on a quiet day like this. Well, apologies, there won't be a man to POV in this vlog. Uh, we, Stacey went round to look at the wait time and 65 minutes. Yeah. We did say, didn't oh. we? Like, well, you said that it was going to get busy from like 12 o'clock. Yeah, o and we were right because um, it's half 12 now. And the park's even now. Yeah, the crowd certainly picked up. I think it's because it's on one train as well, and with it being a flying coaster, obviously the restraints, it takes a lot longer to dispatch. So we're not waiting an hour. For a, a ride we've already done, and I don't like it anyways. I hate flying <laughs> coasters. Do, yeah. yeah, so yeah, we're leaving the park now. I'll, actually, I'll spin you around because here is the uh, train for Pipeline. Yeah, so here's a look at the train for Pipeline, the surf coaster. As mentioned, it's a stand-up coaster. So it'll bob up and down. There's, it'll be compressed there. This will be so much fun. I'm excited to do yeah, this. It'll be really fun. Yeah. Obviously, it'll... Like the mechanism on it yeah, it looks good. Middle. First of its kind, and obviously, it's another ride in the park, isn't it? Yeah, Making it. Is it a launch coaster? Yeah. I'm not sure. Uh, possibly, yeah. See, so I'll make it a longer day here at SeaWorld. Track actually goes over the park entrance as well. It's just crazy, isn't it, how much they keep, like, all of these parks in Orlando. Park. Well, if you come to Orlando every, every year, year there's, always there's always something new. Like, next year we've got oh. Tron, for example, at Magic Kingdom. We've got loads of stuff we haven't done at Disney. Yeah, like. exactly. Right, we're leaving now, then. Glad we're leaving just as it's getting busy. Yeah. Been here about three and a half hours. It's just enough. Yeah. That said, heading back to the hotel, charge our phones, get them batteries that I yes. forgot. <laughs> And we'll go for some food, we're starving. Yeah, I'll show you what we're eating when we get to Perkins. Right, so we're sat inside Perkins for our first ever visit. Yeah, this is just located on International Drive and what opposite mm. the world's largest McDonald's. Yeah, just there, you can see through the blinds. We've been there before. Yeah, we ate there last time. It's just a Max. <laughs> I'll show you. Well, they do all sorts of like pizza. Yeah, they don't do. Yeah, I'll well, give you a quick glance at the menu then. Don't even your drinks. Get. And uh, obviously, it's like a breakfast place, but I think it's known for the pie as well. We saw some yeah, fresh some pies really as we nice walked in. in uh, breakfast classics. Ooh, right, mm. we need to decide our drink first. Some crispy bacon. Asked, didn't we? Yeah. Oh, they look good. Cream soda. I see there's some other get, pies. Yeah, look no. at that. I might get a, I need to try a slice of pie. I have as well. I might get apple pie. Mm. Do build a breakfast. So Waffles. Much. There is so much choice and they actually do burgers as well. <gasps> Raspberry lemonade, that's what I'm going to get. Most, pe most places do burgers, like uh, yeah. IHOP does. <laughs> um, drinks. Is there coffee somewhere? Must the do coffee. Back now. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm, I imagine I'll do coffee. Hey, so I got my coffee. Yeah, just like soft drinks here. It's bottomless. So I'll have a few of these now. Hey, food time then. So yeah, I've gone for, they actually had like a lunchtime trio where you got a bowl of soup. So this is like potato soup, half of a sandwich. So I've got like chicken tenders and I think cheese, yeah, melted cheese in there. 
and I get a slice of pie as well, which will be like that. Well, that'll come out after. And that was only ten dollars ninety nine. Well, that's quite good value. Stacy's gone for chocolate pancake with ice cream and eggs and crispy bacon. Our uh, soup is lovely so far, and he has brought the pie out. I don't really know what to go for because I've never been here, so I've got this like chocolatey mousse one with whipped cream. Should be nice. I did want to try the apple pie, but maybe next time I can have that. Mm. Oh, maybe shouldn't have had that chocolate pie. I feel a little <laughs> sick now. Yeah, we've just come to the mall at Millennia, parked up. Going to do a little bit of shopping now. We have all afternoon free. So Perkins, we've got a bit of a mixed opinion, don't we, Stacey? You really, well, you enjoyed yours. I enjoyed my soup and uh, sandwich. That was actually lovely. I think the pie was a little bit too sickly uh, and it, it was okay, the pie. Yeah. Um, so mine, I asked for the chocolate chip. It's like a combo meal, so you get bacon and eggs. I asked for them sunny side up um, and they weren't cooked how I like them no. at all. They were quite gloopy, yeah, weren't they? Just, I could tell you didn't enjoy <laughs> they them. They weren't very nice and yeah, the chocolate chip pancakes were meant to come with a chocolate chip cookie. That's what I thought. I said to you, oh, that sounds nice. Mm. And then he bought it out and it was like an oatmeal cookie. So I just mentioned it and he was like, oh, well, I thought you would like that. But he just like kind of assumed. Yeah, like they didn't um, even ask uh, if if that was okay. Because if, if he came and said, oh, we don't have the chocolate chip cookies, you would have got something, got something else, else. But he didn't even ask. And also, they didn't even offer you a refill. No, no. So, so obviously, we... we don't really like to be negative but with mm. that one um i would probably say like it is one of the worst places i've always got to be trip. honest yeah. yeah i mean you're always bound to get one. A, one bad meal we've had it before i remember friendlies a few yeah. years ago majority um, of the places we do eat at have been lovely like yeah. we've had really nice breakfast and i'm just i'm not service and stuff yeah it's always good to try new places because we had perkins on the list for a while now that we have been would we go again yeah. Probably not after that experience, no. even though I did really like my sandwich and soup. I feel like it's I can I think, get it yeah, get the same I think as well elsewhere. It's, it's not even just about the food for me. I like I like the overall experience, like mm. with the service and stuff, and the service wasn't very good. So. But if you do want to try it, I'd recommend the lunch option over not breakfast. the breakfast. <laughs> Definitely not breakfast. Uh, and don't get that chocolate pie. I uh, tr maybe the apple pie might be nicer, or something like that. Never mind. We're gonna. Uh, have a deep dish Chicago style yes. pizza tonight. <laughs> we are. So we're gonna have that late on after fun spot. Well, I'm I wanna be hungry for it, I know. I we're... put this um, fleece on because I was getting a bit cold and mm. now when you sat in the car it's hot. Yeah. Whew. So anyways, that's our vlog from today then at SeaWorld. Had a fun day, I've had fun, fun morning. Day, yeah. I'm glad we did it on the morning. Uh, we smashed Definitely. smashed out the park in three and a half hours. So another tip, if you come when we do, get there early get the rides and done it'll be quiet because yeah. as we were leaving it was getting so very busy. busy yeah car park went all the way back didn't it, it was full nearly. yeah highlight for me definitely has to be getting back on mako mako yeah. yeah icebreaker a little underwhelmed it's, it's okay it's nothing spectacular but it's good to get a new coaster and i know just a shame that the rapids were down yeah next time yes next year right we're going to do a bit of shopping so thanks for watching if you enjoyed it please leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new to the channel. As mentioned, check out all of our other vlogs in this playlist. We're doing Fun Spot Orlando tonight, so we'll get back on White Lightning, do some go karting, so that'll be fun. Yeah, it's yeah. always fun at yeah. Fun Spot. Isn't That's it? the next vlog to come. Fun at Fun Spot. <laughs> yeah. So stay tuned for that one. Right, thanks for watching. See you in the next vlog. Bye.